How much do you need to spend a month on insurance to consider adequately covered? Three dollars, four dollars, be five hundred dollars a month. Fun fact: It is way lower than expected if you know what you need and prioritize the right insurance to get. And yes, you can easily get by with just two dollars a month or even lower. Before diving into how to construct such an insurance portfolio, let me just put forth some caveats first. Firstly, the portfolio I'm about to share is based on a profile of a non-smoker, 31-year-old single male living in Singapore without any pre-existing health conditions. So bear in mind that you may be excluded from some of the insurance plans that I'm about to mention or that the premiums that you pay will be higher based on your own life conditions. Also, I'm not a licensed financial advisor, so treat this video truly as a form of information and not as financial advice. With that out of the way, Let's look into the first insurance, which is health insurance, or more commonly known as hospitalization insurance. To compare health insurance plans across the various different insurance providers, you can use the Ministry of Health website. Just note that the plans highlighted are without their corresponding rider options. For the portfolio I'm doing for this video, I'll be using coverage up to work class A in government hospitals. Of all the insurance providers, I narrow it down to AIA at Sing Life as they provide additional policy limit coverage for critical illnesses. Out of the two, I felt that AIA was a better option as their additional policy limit covers 30 critical illnesses as compared to Sing Life's 5. As such, with AIA's health insurance plan, your expected annual premium will be $563, of which $170 is payable by cash while the remainder can be paid using your Medisafe account. So that's for health insurance. Let's move on to disability income insurance next. Unlike health insurance, disability income insurance does not have a comparison site for now. Thus, I'll be using my own disability income insurance as an example. Currently, my disability income insurance is with Sing Life, and the total annual premium stands at $606.79, of which $6.67 is paid by cash, but the rest can be paid using my Medisafe account. This disability income insurance provides me a payout for $1,500 a month if I'm not able to fulfill at least one activity of daily living, otherwise known as ADL. Also, this $1,500 is on top of the payout I will receive from Cashew Life in the event that I'm not able to fulfill at least three ADLs. Personally for me, I will rank disability income insurance as the next insurance that you should get after health insurance. This is because you never know when you will suffer disability which will affect your earning ability in generating the amount of income that you are having right now. Let's now move on to personal accident insurance. For personal accident insurance plan, I'll be going for a single lump sum payout plan on a Sing Life, Mean Death, or MHA group insurance plan. Under this plan, for coverage of $600,000, you'll be paying $3.24 a month, which equates to $38.88 annually. The good thing about the MINDEF or MHA Group Insurance Plan is that they are not only applicable for regulars, reservists, or affiliated employees, but also for their spouse and children. Just a point to note, if a personal accident coverage under the MINDEF MHA Group Insurance Plan is more than $200,000, be mindful that only the first $200,000 will be paid out as a lump sum. The balance amount will then be paid out in installments over a period of the next three years. All right, now on to term life insurance. To me, the most valuable money baseline term life insurance plan will once again be the Sing Life Pindev MHA Group Insurance Plan. At just $25 a month or $300 annually, you will receive $1 million coverage for death and total permanent disability to the age of 65. While some have feel that age 65 is too early for coverage to cease, I think it is still quite alright. This is because at that age, most of us will already not have dependents relying on our income for survival or sustenance. If you are not eligible for the Sing Life Group Insurance Plan, you can use the website Compare First to compare term life insurance plans across different insurance providers. As seen, ignoring the mortgage insurance term plans, you can get a basic term life insurance plan from as low as $474 annually. Most term life insurance plans will also allow you to add an additional rider for critical illness coverage, which I'll cover next. For critical illness insurance plans, you can opt for a multi-pay or single lump sum payout plan. For the sake of crafting a value for money portfolio, I'll be looking at the lump sum option instead. Once again, I will opt for the Sing Life 
good insurance plan. I'm starting to feel like a spokesperson from Sing Life down here. But hey, you can't really fault me because dollar for dollar, their plans are really very competitive in the market. But anyway, for $500,000 critical illness coverage, you only need to spend $324 annually. Do know that for this plan, it only covers the 37 major critical illnesses as defined by the Life Insurance Association. For those who do not qualify for the Sing Life Group Insurance Plan, you can do a price comparison for term life insurance plans with CI coverage using the website Compare First too. In terms of how much critical illness coverage you get, the LRA recommends 3.9 times of annual income for employees and self-employed individuals and 8.9 times of annual income for platform workers. So with that, if you add up all the insurance premiums, the total annual premium will be $1,832.67, of which $993 is payable by very safe. This means that you only pay around $70 in cash every month or $150 in total if you include both MediSafe and cash. Not too shabby, eh? Also, you can choose to upgrade or start your coverage if you feel the need to. Personally for me, I will keep my total insurance premiums to at most 10% of my annual income. So as you can see, you really don't need to spend a huge amount every month on insurance premiums to get a comprehensive coverage. And you can definitely do it under $200 a month. So what do you think of such an insurance portfolio? Do you think the coverage is enough? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, if you find this video helpful, drop a like on it and subscribe to my channel if you have not. And yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.